Last year we got an A36 in it that had bird strike on the left wing. The Beechcraft service manual says that you have to remove the wing to be able to pull the leading edge off. So we pulled the tank out and we got looking at the attachments for the spar. I found out that by fabricating some very miniature, highly detailed tools, I was able to get into the gap between the wing and the fuselage to be able to get the fasteners out that we needed to get out. Then it was simply a matter of pulling the hinge pins out of the wing and we used uh, come along and some uh, tie down straps tied around eye beams and the three of us wound up pulling the leading edge off. <laughs> It was a simple matter after that of just drilling the skin off and having Dave put the new skin on. You may not want to choose a factory skin, however. Uh, there's a couple different reasons that, that we like to use our fabricated skins. When you get a factory skin, there's two problems with it. Sometimes they'll either come piloted. In that case, the holes usually never line up with existing structure. And if you can manage to find one that's not piloted, they're all cut differently. And there's so many more steps involved with a factory skin. But if we use our own fabricated skin, you know, we do all those steps in one motion. We just flatten out the old skin, match drill the whole thing as a flat layout, do all the dimpling and countersinking on the bench, make the radius the way we want to, and trim it the way we want to. And then it's just on the airplane and rivet it. Okay. Good. Okay takes easily double the time to use a factory skin as opposed to a fabricated skin. This is the third A36 and we also did a Baron. Okay. We figured it would probably save about $20,000 because to pull the wing off you have to pull all the control cables out and pull the landing gear out and have to make cradles to hold the fuselage and the wing. Mike Collins, AOPA Live.